hello everyone, both in Clearwater Bay and Nansha and I'm Nathan. So this is my background, as you can see. Four years ago, after I finished my bachelor in mainland China, I came to Hong Kong and studied my PG in UST. My research in direction is integrated circuit and system design, particularly in power management and conversion. I got my MPU degree in ECE last year in order not to restrict my knowledge and skills within the EE field and seek more exciting opportunities with fellows from other domains. I chose to continue my PhD study in IIP, which is under the HKUST Guangzhou scheme first pilot grant. Today, I would like to share with you my experience in the following three parts. Core course design thinking, the on-site research resources, and graduate teaching assistant. Design thinking is a cross-disciplinary inspiring course that started a couple of years ago in the UG program and firstly conducted as a Guangzhou scheme core course last year. Basically, it is a circular learning procedure gathering the students and instructors to go through several diverge and converge stages, including the market research, problem definition, iteration, prototyping, and final demo, as well as the presentation. The grand topic last year is subdivided flat community, Tangfang Sequen, Tangfang Shechun in Hong Kong. It is not like the ordinary lecture courses where the instructors are delivering the well-prepared content. Instead, almost all of us are unfamiliar with this topic. So in the beginning, we have been to the real subdivided flat in Shanshuifo for a close field trip and have a deeper understanding according to the related NGO's introduction. Coming back to UST, we discussed the personal discovery and got to know each other gradually. We amazingly found that all of us 14 students are from different backgrounds, among science, engineering, business, and social science. Experienced several rounds of brainstorming, we have come up with several topics and teamed up accordingly. After the team formation, we initiated some individual investigations back to the subdivided flat community and shared with the whole class for our findings. Instructors and the entire teaching team helped us to connect the possible resources both in and outside HQSD. Even some unexpected issues happened. We still kept the online discussion through Zoom since last November, and eventually finished the final demo and presentation. In my eyes, this design thinking course is definitely worth taking. Not only can you earn a lot which textbook and papers cannot tell you, but also you can get a strong friendships beyond your lab and department or class. Besides, the sense of achievement when we realized our prototype after tens of trials and errors is quite enjoyable. Even though we are experiencing the challenging COVID-19, I, I heard that around 100 of you have arrived at HKUST Clearwater Bay already and get to know this heavily silent garden by your eyes. Therefore, the second part of my sharing is the on-site resources in HKUST Clearwater Bay. As you may know, the two core courses, Research Method and Design Thinking, we are equipped with the ultra decent classroom here. As you can see, the sea and hill viewed office at the seventh floor of the LSK building. And different hand tools, stationaries, and consumables are labeled at the cabinet. This environment is quite beneficial to our post discussion and prototyping simultaneously. Apart from the feel at home office or shared space, 
there are more professional and water leading level facilities available to us. According to my past ECE experience, the Integrity Circuit Design Center, ICTC, can help us design, assembly, and evaluate the IC chips. The microelectronic device, chemical, and materials can be synthesized at NFF. Well known professors and research teams in robotics and automation are working at the Re Robotics Institute. An MCPF will open to all of our USD members to satisfy our needs in characterization and preparation. Not only ECE facilities, but also there are more professional research equipment and infrastructures that can satisfy and inspire our cross-disciplinary research as well. Do come over and discover with your supervisors or program authors for any detailed technical requirements. The last sharing is the Graduate Teaching Assistant, GTA, which is also an essential component of the RPG study. Since 2019 4 HKUST has integrated the GTA service into the PDEV 6800 course, which most of you have attended the online briefing by CEI already. More details of each steps can be found on the CEI website, which I provided a link and QR code here. In my eyes, the GTA is not only a service required by our PGS or university regulations, but also a precious opportunity to experience and engage in the UST teaching procedure, as well as enhancing the personal instructional capability. Here, I share a little more about my personal key theory of ELEC 1100 the introduction to electro robot design. This is a common core UG course, which means that not only ECE UGs, but also students from other schools or IPO can enroll. These students are with diverse mindset and prior knowledge. They will team up for the autonomous parking car UG. During my engagement as a TA, I found that if we can excite we can use exciting and friendly approaches to break the ice initially. They may become quite active and interested in this experiential course. They may even figure out some other optimized solution apart from our plan. Also, since the students' backgrounds are quite different, we GTAs should have patient and open mind. We are here to help them rather than judge them. I also learned a lot from being a GTA for this fantastic course because it deepened not only my understanding of basic EE knowledge as a teaching level, but also enhanced my presentation and critical thinking capabilities, which are also beneficial to my research as well. In my past years in UST, I have served as a GTA in both UG and PG courses for nine times. You may ask how to balance the workload of your own research and GTA service. Here, I can share some tips as a reference. Firstly, make use of the skills from your TA training workshop, like the time of work management and practical task separation approaches. Secondly, we do have a uh, a lot of peer review websites like the CVP or the USD space. I may recommend you to have a look at this website before the courses commences. I may also recommend the, you to serve as a GTA for the UG courses with more than 100 students, such that you will have other GTAs as your colleagues to share the workload. Last but not the least, as a TA, we should be patient and empathetic, but also set a clear boundaries between the GTA and the students. Keep a safe distance and avoid conflict of interest to happen. Would be better to make our life easier. All above are my personal sharings. And if you want to know more about the Clearwater Bay, please feel free to contact me via Facebook 
or LinkedIn. Thank you.